for our project, you're going to need some paper, pencils, crayons, markers, or oil pastels. This project is based off of butterflies. We are going to talk about the science behind butterflies as well as math connected to the butterflies. Hope you guys enjoy the project. Pretty sure at some point you have discussed the life cycle of a butterfly. From the egg to the caterpillar to the chrysalis, the adult emerges out of the chrysalis, and then there you have a beautiful butterfly. I learned something new. The butterfly's mouth is not completely formed after it merges. It has to actually fit its mouth together. Kind of a cool little tidbit I got today. There's a middle picture that shows you the parts of the butterfly. The head, the mouth, the antennae, the wing veins, the wing cells, the abdomen, the hind wing, the thorax, and the forewing. Something else really interesting about butterflies, each wing is covered by thousands upon thousands of colorful scales and hairs. Not quite sure if it's true, but I've always been told if you touch a butterfly's wing, it can't fly anymore. Guess we're going to have to research that part. Now for the math part. Symmetry in math means a line can be drawn through an object and the two halves mirror each other. So if you take your hands and you put your pinkies together, your palms face up, your right hand looks like your left hand. That's symmetry. So symmetry in art is when the elements of a painting or drawing balance each other out. In art, it doesn't necessarily mean that they look exactly the same. It some kind, sometimes can mean that the weight looks the same or that the color is balanced out. But we're gonna go for the math slash art base of symmetry that both sides of the butterfly are gonna look the same. You get to choose a style for your butterfly. Realistic, with the black lines running through the butterfly wings, kind of like the monarch butterfly. The geometric one, those look like, yep, triangles. Those look like triangles in those butterfly wings. And then look at the artistic one. I see some circles, I see some ovals, but still it's artistic because it's not quite the realistic style and not quite the geometric style. So you get to choose, have fun, are you ready to draw? Okay, so find the middle of your paper and draw the body of the butterfly, the head, the thorax, the abdomen. There are a couple of examples up at the top of different body styles. Then choose a style of wings. You're gonna draw one wing and then you're gonna draw the other one. Remember, we're aiming for symmetry. Take your time with this step because you want the right wing to look as close to the left wing as possible. All right, revisiting the different styles. So you have the body of the butterfly and you have the right wing and the left wing. You get to feel both of those wings with one of these styles the realistic looking one, the geometric one, and then the artistic one. But something I want you to remember, symmetry, 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 the right wing looks exactly like the left wing. So take your time working on those designs. As you finish drawing the designs of your butterflies, let's talk about color. There's a color wheel on this slide. The cool colors are calming. It's the green, the blues, and the violets. The warm colors are exciting. Reds, oranges, and yellows. Complementary colors 
that make each other appear to be brighter. They're opposites on the color wheel. So find red on the color wheel and slide across and you should land on green. Find blue, slide across, you should land on orange. Now analogous colors, those are my favorites, they're sitting next to each other on the color wheel. Color wheel. They're neighbors. They match well and they create serene and comfortable artwork. For example, find the yellow, find the yellow green and the green. Those are analogous colors. So you choose what you want your butterfly to look like. What kind of feeling do you, do you want to uh, convey today? Exciting? Calm? It's up to you. I hope you were able to let your creativity have fun today. I would enjoy seeing what you created. How about sending me a photo of your artwork? My email address is at the bottom. When you send me your artwork and you can put your name on it, I can use all those to create a virtual art show and maybe even get it on the morning show. Y'all have fun, create artwork. Until next time, this is Mrs. Christopher.